Hey, so what's up? It's your boy Zoe, back to the channel, man. You already know I'm back okay, here again, again in the, the grind, grind don't stop. stop. And I'm here with my boy t in the building, man. You're we in the building, boy. We in the building. Oh, as you already know, man. But look, today, man, we about to react to five scariest Jeffrey Dahmer moments, man. And it was caught on camera, so hopefully we see the scariest moments, man. And then after you're done watching this, you could pop over to Twitch and just, you know, feel me. Facts, give me a little us. follow, you know. I'll probably be live, actually. You could just join up. Word. Just type in the chat, came from Zoe. But look, man, drop in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, turn on the bell to be notified when I drop my next video. And let's talk, let's react to this, bro. The That Creepy Podcast is now available on Spotify as well as Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Oh, shout out There's That Creepy Podcast. There's a link to it in the description and also the, the comments. Video, say, feel me. See what's going on. Copyright. Yeah, yeah perfect. Thanks, bro. Fuck. Fuck. This is an interview of Jeffrey Dahmer and his dad. Throughout, it becomes clear how much of a complex character he is. At some points, he seems almost ashamed of his crimes and shows signs of remorse. But in other parts of the interview, it appears that he actually enjoys talking about his crimes. Because he enjoys talking about his crimes. Yo, bro, am I the only one that thinks that this man right here, at some before he needs help for being crazy, mm -hmm. he needs some fucking blistex, bro. <laughs> this shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah. He got a whole crease in his lip. No, I think it's about to say some shit about his right eye fucked up or some shit, bro. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. He got them creepy glasses. At some points, he seems almost ashamed of his crimes and shows signs of remorse. He's not ashamed of shit. But in other parts of the interview, it appears that he actually enjoys talking about his crimes he because he was able to share and almost relive his fantasies all over again. He looked down. What you talking Doing about? what I did was my way of feeling in, in complete control, at least for that situation. Creating my own little world where I had the final say. Wow. Physically that is control a person, a person that I found physically attractive, and uh, keep them with me as long as possible, even if it meant just keeping apart. Bro, this man be killing people, keeping a part of people. Wait, do you not know he do what Jeffrey Dahmer be doing? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the people watching won't know. Maybe we should get a, Bro, a video up be, in the spot. He be drilling through people's brain, right? I was watching a movie the other day. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. All right, here. That shit is weird. Bro. True say. We can't show any of the Netflix <clears throat> on here. So if y'all wanna pop on over there, watch the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix documentary, and then film me. You'll know what we're talking about. I'm not gonna lie though. I he be doing watch that some. He be doing some wacky uh, stuff. He be pretty much, you know. Doing a lot of crazy shit. Doing violent Zzz. and sexual things to other Zzz. men. Yeah. Bun this man. You know, you didn't have to. <laughs> this is one of those interviews people reference when trying to understand the mind of a serial killer due to the fact he comes across as a polite, well educated individual, whilst also being brutally honest and callous. At one point, he even notes how he would keep people with him as long as possible, even if it just meant keeping a part of them. What would you do with the with the dead animals, Jeff? Take them back in the woods, uh, skin them sometimes. Uh, oh, he'd be taking them back into the crib. Slip them, slip them all the way open. Uh, look at the organs, feel them. Can you describe what no, you were thinking? No, I, I was. I was. It was just mystifying to me how how the insides of the animal looked. Uh, there was a sort of ex uh, general excitement for me. I don't know why. Uh, it was a, I don't know why he does, but it's weird. He's a weird dude, bro. I seen this clip. This footage is from the. T I seen this clip of him like you it's like it's not really him, but it's like the, the reenactment of him. With the, and they cut open a. a the, uh, the, he cut open something, I and he took exactly the he took is, the, the, the the heart and he had it in his hand. It was a raccoon, and he just squeezed like this. And then the heart, and then like he was squeezing it, right? And then like he had a flashback of this exact moment, and he just had his hand like this, pretending to be squeezing it, and he's just with his other hand just hey yo, I just being his meat, that, bro. bro. Nah, I'm like I nah. I was not expecting that's what you about to say. I seen him and his pals, bro. He oh yeah, they took him to the bro. shed. Yeah, he's he's a wacky dude. We should really look into this guy because yeah, it's very interesting. But he's a wacky dude for sure. Twenty fourth of December, nineteen ninety. One of the main talking points of this video is how he makes a remark about how he needs to start eating more at home. 
which many have indicated could perhaps have been a more sick joke to himself rather than an innocent passing comment. Hey, hold the fuck up, hold the fuck up, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck that, up. Is he free? Bro, is he even alive? Throughout the video, it's clear that he feels awkward in his company, especially by his mannerisms. That man be lonely. No, I've been surviving on McDonald's food mm. for, you know, since I moved down there. Well, you're looking good. Grandma was saying that, that she thought that you got quite a bit thinner, but you look fit. I don't know. Well, I... Is this before they found out? Yo, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I tell you. Why is he free? I don't think he's free. When did it happen? Bro, when this man he... talking about he's been surviving off McDonald's. Off McDonald's. He used to eat people and all sorts of things. You Listen, I think he's eating people. He just doesn't... He's not going to fucking tell his cousins and shit that he's eating people. You didn't hear before he, like, expressing what he be doing? Or the harms he be doing? Hold on. Nah, Give me a sec. That me a second. is weird, bro. He Give me a second. Give me a second. Bro. Ready? Ready? Little Google search. Little Google search to help us out. When did Jeffrey... Dahmer get caught. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you see? This is right before he got caught. This is sick. This is really mystifying. I'm not even gonna lie. Because this is crazy. He's sick. Look. This is literally... He's killing people right now. Like, he, like this video is taken at his man's... At his, at his family's house. But at, at home, there's bodies everywhere. Yeah, I know. Just like the fucking movie. You see when the cops were searching Yeah, but spot? I'm saying, look. He got caught July 22nd, 1991. <clears throat> This is December 1990. That's so mm, close. That's like a year later, a couple oh, months later. Yeah. Like I said before, it gets too expensive. And you probably got caught because of this fucking video, video too. More. Dumbass nigga. Yeah. Did you just see that? <laughs> what just happened? That's so creepy, bro. He said, oh, I guess I should start eating at home more. He got mad bodies. Looks <laughs> like a bunch of They gotta watch their kids, bro. Kids might fuck around turn. Yeah, we have footage from April 6, 1993, when Dahmer was beginning to serve his 15 life sentences. Here he would announce to the court how he would inject hydrochloric acid into the brain of his victims to put them into a zombie kind of state. He also claims that he attempted to hold the fuck up. Did you just hear that? Hydrochloric acid, my boy. I don't even know. That's mad creepy. It says it's gonna make you, like this is what you, that's the chemical that your brain produces when you see food or or you chew food. He attempts to do this with hot water too. Hot water is crazy. You seen on the movie where where he was forcing them to drink that shit? No, inject into their brain, bro. I know, and then also sometimes you will make them drink it to start it off. Yeah. And he be doing that. He he puts some shit in the drink and he he drinks beer. Yo, I'm a drink with you, blah blah blah. You drink this. That's what he did to that young Asian kid. See, See I didn't watch all of it. Feel me? He did that. Chill. You should have seen it. Bro. I'm gonna watch the all of it for sure. The procedure that you utilized was to drill holes through the bone. Through that? what? Through what? Yo. Through the skull of your victims? Yeah. Through the skull of your victims? Yes, bro. You gotta watch it, bro. This man. Yo, yo. So he would just stop. Bro, he I don't even wanna. Yo. I don't even wanna think about this, bro. And he got the cops called on him too. They didn't do nothing. You know what he said? He was like, "That's my gay boyfriend. He's just drunk right now." How he get the cops calling him though? Um, cause it, the like the way they was living, it looked like a, like a little motel type of thing. So you know, there's neighbors. And they're hearing noises. The drill makes noises. He's by a drill nigga head off, whatever. This mash, like, fighting him. Plus, he already got a dead body in there. You feel me? There's a whole black dude in there on the floor. What? All types of shit, bro. Nah, bro, this is crazy. The, the Asian dude, um, not He should have been got caught, bro. That's what I said, bro. I was it's tight. It's white privilege, bro. I was tight, bro. Nah, that's OD. Like, and, and there was, you know, gay back then, and I think that's when the AIDS shit was happening or whatever. Wait, he was drilling a hole to put the acid in there. I don't understand this. Or man. boiling water. I don't understand this, man. Now, what was the purpose of that drilling technique? To 
the person in a sort of zombie-like state. I didn't know exactly what I would do, but I was uh, experimenting as well. So it's maybe what do you not mean? what's happening? What do you say a zombie-like state? What do you say a zombie-like state? would uh, be willing to do this. Follow my orders. Follow his orders. Not one. We're basically trying to control them. It makes them in control. This is a clip of evidence being seized at Jeffrey Dahmer's apartment shortly after he was arrested. The police removed dozens of boxes with body parts inside of them and a huge canister of acid. The whole neighborhood came out to witness the apartment being investigated by the police. The same apartment that was owned by the man they used to see almost every day but very few of them could have ever imagined the atrocities that were taking place right under their nose. Oh, no. This is crazy, bro. You be putting them in the freezer. All type of things, bro. Nah, that's really fucking crazy. Man, how many bodies do you think like, this man had in there? Jeffrey world? Dahmer is really one of the, like, exceptions of the world that just lost it. Like, they just... They just lose their fucking mind, and they just start acting like psychopaths, bro. That man is crazy. That man is sick. That man is weird. Is he alive? I don't even know. I th nah. No way. Let me see. That man is different. I have a question. Oh, no, he died. When? Oh, oh, someone killed him in jail. I forgot. 1994, someone killed him in jail. Yo, shit, bro. Karma's a bitch. Karma? Yo. I'm not gonna lie, he, nah, I don't believe that he got good karma, like, I don't believe that he got karma for that, mm -hmm. I feel like they let him off easy, I feel like, you know, I mean, easy. I mean we just watched, alright, so we were supposed to do a different reaction video, right, we just watched how they was fighting in jail, bro, Yeah. he should've got that happen to him every day, for the rest of his life, mm, that's what you're saying, he yeah. deserves that. He deserves yeah, that. He was wild. Facts, facts. He, he was wild, especially because, like, bro, not only did he do all of that, he but, like, quick. he just, said. like, nah, not even that. Like, when he went to jail, he was still like, yeah, I did it. So what? He's like, I don't give a fuck. You're right. He should have got beat up. And, That's what I'm saying. Like, like he should have felt some type of remorse Bang. before they let him go. <clears throat> it's like, damn, I regret this. What the fuck? Like, like. No, nah, I don't. I don't think every, you, every time nah. you lay down, you just gotta. You get know what? Slapped. You know what? Violence isn't the answer, but <laughs> you just gotta get for slapped. him. <laughs> like yo, you he walked past me, you just gotta slap him one time. Like the whole group get on the line and like they all, <laughs> You ever seen a video like that? That, that little the game with that that little, that little game him. that be running, just slapping people, bro. You ever seen nah, that that's ad, bro? OD. I don't know. That I don't know. That just sounds crazy. Bro. Nah, but that shit, yo. Jeffrey Dahmer gotta chill, like. Yeah. Stuff like that, people like that, bro. If you ever have them thoughts, bro, just seek help. Cause. Alright. If y'all never watched a movie, man, make sure y'all get on Netflix and watch it. It's not a movie. Let me tell y'all now. It's, it's a not show. a movie. Don't let him trick you. It's a documentary. It's a good documentary, though. It's like a reenactment of everything that happened. But I don't know. More time. Don't watch it without your girl. <laughs> Don't That's watch what I'm gonna say. True words. Do not watch it alone. I'll pick that up. After. And don't watch it with your mans either. I don't know. Like me uh, and him, we can't go watch it right now. I wouldn't even watch it. I seen it once. I don't ever want to see that. Like shit we, me and him, like, like I don't know. I'm not like, watching that shit, bro. Me and my girl is one thing, but like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. She's doing that. Put it on, bro. But, yeah. Nah. I mean, yeah. As long as you, as long as you're not putting it on, you know. I'm not watching that shit again, bro. One Actually, time. nah. Let's stop. You can watch it. That shit's fire. Shout out Netflix. They did the thing. <laughs> if Netflix ever wants to hit us up for some shit, we can do some funny shit, some comedy. Feel me? All right, man. Shout out Netflix for that weird ass movie. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was weird as fuck, bro. We gonna chop that, that shit up, cause. But look, man. I'm out of here. If y'all made it to this part with us, make sure you leave a like, comment down below what you think about this little video right here. Let me know what you know about Jeffrey, man, cause that nigga is weird as fuck. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell to be notified when I drop my next video. And let's talk about it. Safety, bow.